This is a quick little demo of uh, how to deal with pixel art with Unity uh, if you need to keep everything pixel perfect. So with pixel art, we have uh, the ability to scale up really easily. So, but as long as it's, you know, that works perfectly, as long as it's a multiple like times two, times three, times four, etc. So this, uh, this is a scene from the awesome game Chasm, by the way. Uh, real cool art. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And this image as is a 480 by 270 image. So it'll be pixel perfect at any multiple of 480 by 270. So 480 by 270, this is its actual resolution. Now, I can't really see it, but that's not really an issue. So this will be double resolution. And you can see it's still pixel perfect here. And if we go all the way up to 1440 by 810, this is its, its uh, turbulent resolution. So where this gets interesting with, uh, with this particular way of doing things is uh, you can do various things if you're at a non-pixel perfect resolution. So these are the three different options for different behaviors for when it's not pixel perfect and there's a cutoff. So let's just say I'll set this cutoff down to something small so it gets triggered. So anytime the, the height ratio, uh, that's actually uh, how we spell height now in case you were wondering. It's H-I-G-H-T. Get rid of all those wasted E's, silly English language. All right, so, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and disable cropping. And what that'll do is uh, when I change the size of the window, what its current behavior is is to crop. So let's take a look at that first, actually. So none. So th what this does is if we resize the window a bit, you can see we cropped the bottom and the sides. And it's still pixel perfect, but it's pixel perfect with cropping now. And as we go bigger, you can see the, the crop changes. And this is the current uh, height ratio so that you can see uh, when it gets triggered. So now if I disable crop and then trigger a resize, it's a very different behavior. You can see now there's no cropping going on. It's always going to show the full image here, no matter what size our screen is. And you know this might be appropriate for some types of games, might not for others. Uh, the third behavior here is to set the nearest perfect fit resolution. So what that'll do, if I toggle that on, is anytime the resolution changes to something that isn't a perfect multiple, it's going to resize the height of the window to be a perfect multiple of the base art. So you can see this is always going to be pixel, pixel fitted via the height, no matter what I change this window size to. It's always going to bounce back to something that's a, a perfect size for the height. Now normally you'd have more of your level displaying on the left and right so there wouldn't be black bars there but uh, that's basically how things look so if we you can see if we go to a, something that's a perfect ratio we are at the one value but if we jump up to something that's not it's only going to be there for an instant and then it'll drop back to something where the, it'll set the height where it's perfect now 1280 by 720 is not a pixel perfect resolution for this particular art so by clicking that, you can see it does a quick resize of the height to keep things pixel perfect. All right, so the, the basic way this is done, real simple. The main camera is set to render to a render texture, and that render texture has a height of 270. So it, the width will vary based on the width of the actual screen, and uh, but keeping the height exactly at 270 for that render texture means that we're always going to have a pixel perfect render texture and then what we do is we set up a second camera and take the output of that render texture and just stick it on a quad and as the screen size changes all we do is change the scale of that quad and uh, you know also when the screen size changes we do change the render texture size but we do always keep the height at 270 and the width just varies based on the actual width of the window. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.